Hello, hello, hello. Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel and once again, this is Nancy. How are you all guys? Thank you so much for the supports that you guys gave it to me. But before everything else, I just want to say as usual, shout out to everyone. I think I want to shout out to the one that I never shout out yet. And who could it be that I never shout it here yet? I would say, uh, earlier I was thinking about it, that I said, oh, I never mentioned that one and it's always there for me. And now I forget. Anyway, <laughs> I just want to shout out to, um, as usual, to Unblog Sprambo. Oh, <laughs> hi, Anne. Uh, thank you once again for being there for me. And to uh, uh, James and Adeline, uh, husband and wife, uh, family, always there for me. Thank you. Thanks for being there for me, guys. And uh, to Sis um, Yoli, thank you for being there for me. Shout out to Sis Yoli C. And uh, Humble B2. I know I forgot to shout out Humble B2. I know. I feel so bad that I always forget that stuff. Shout out to Humble B2. And Jason Rabino. Shout out to you. And shout out to Tata Blog and Aya Bali. Bali Blog. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. You are always there for me too. I know sometimes. I am too busy and I just forget what's in my mind. So sorry guys, but sometimes uh, I do forget to shout out on, on the both of you. Uh, thank you guys and shout out to Jenda Habello. Hi Jenda, thank you. Thank you there for being there for me as well. And who I didn't shout out to. Uh, shout out to Dominic Williams. Hi, Dominic. I shout out to you, okay? <laughs> and shout out to uh, Angeline Lenzi. Hi, Angeline. Thank you so much for being there for me. And shout out to Father Ken. I, I now started calling pa, Father Ken, not brother anymore, because I know next month he's already a priest. Uh, I feel so bad and uh, calling, calling him just Brother Ken. When in fact, he's already a priest. It's just a matter of uh, uh, a month. So anyway, uh, Father Ken, thank you so much. I know you are always there for me, uh, supporting me as well. And that's why I do I do support you. Uh, I still support you too, but I know you support me, me more. Thank you, uh, Father Ken. Now I'm just supposed to say Brother Ken again. Uh, Father Ken. I started calling him Father Ken. I asked permission to call him uh, Reverend Father Ken. Uh, he's a priest now, actually. Uh, thank you so much. Please uh, uh, pray for, for me and for all the the YouTubers. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. And hope you are, uh, the Lord will always bless uh, you and all of us in the uh youtube world thank you and okay guys uh okay now this start this to tonight i'm uh, it's actually evening already i asked permission from uh, father ken that i'm just gonna step out from his uh uh ls because i am actually cooking for youtube so uh yes i i am cooking remember last last it was last night yeah that i said i had my uh I, I had my games and I put this out for you guys. They called it a red, it's a Swiss red chard. And this is the one I'm going to cook tonight. There's no meat, it's just the vegetables. And this is how I'm going to, uh, to start with. Okay, let me just introduce to you all my ingredients uh, I do have here. First of all, let's start with all the stuff first. I do have here as a... Uh, this one is a balsamic vinegar as one teaspoon, one and a half teaspoon. And this one is a pinch of salt. It's, I would say uh, just uh, a one part. And later on, we'll just adjust the taste. And I have a 
This one is a chili flakes. I have two cloves of garlic here. I don't know if you guys can see everything. Okay, let's put it that way. Okay. Okay, again, balsamic vinegar. And this is the salt. And this one is a, a one tablespoon of uh, soy sauce. One tablespoon of olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, and a chili flakes. And this one is two cloves of garlic and a two tablespoon of butter. And uh, of course, this one is the a uh, Swiss, uh, Swiss red chard, not red chard, <laughs> red chard. So okay, now the the rest. I didn't cut everything because I sit sit aside sit, sit aside this one because I want to show you how I cut it. And I do have my dill as well i want to include the dill in it dill is a very nappy if you include the stuff and this is the way how i cut the dill let's just put that one i cut it this way as much as possible i like the smell of the dill in russian way of cooking there's no food that they didn't include dill everything that they cook with uh, has a deal on it so so yeah so no i just finished this one i just want to cut it this way a little bit uh thinner just the aroma of the uh, the deal when you cut it the taste is look like a pili nut i i don't know who among of you already taste the pili nut so that's actually the taste so I put the dill here. It's actually just a uh, small twigs of a uh, thin small twigs of the dill, and that's how the amount is. And now I, I didn't cut everything because I want you guys to see how I cut this. I just do it like this, actually, just like that. Because okay. So let's proceed to do the cooking now. Okay, guys. Let's do it. I just want to move that one up in the corner. There you go. Okay, guys. I turn on the heat already, and I heat. And this one is just a uh, five minutes. This one is done. So I put the the olive oil in there. Oh. Then I followed it with the two tablespoons of butter. There you go. for the vegetables now start putting the vegetables in and yeah I, I forgot to mention I'm gonna put a little bit of water in it just very little to make it moist okay guys Then I put the deal in it to make the deal. I like the smell. And I put the vinegar. I put the soy sauce in. Pinch of salt. It's a dusty boss, it's very small. And I 
and I put the uh, paper plates. this more uh, stuff it's not even one egg just like that so I put everything in I'm just gonna add a little bit of the paste okay guys So this one in three minutes, just five past two minutes. In three minutes, this one is. Gosh, guys, this is so good. In one minute, this one is cooked. So so good. And this is the amount that the vegetables I mix in earlier. Now I am going to turn off the heat. And that's, and that's it. It's actually cooked already. 